Hello everyone and welcome to Lavalia's Coloring. We will be coloring in day 14 in my advent calendar here, which is illustrated by Chihiro Shiomi. And you can find the link to her Etsy store and to this PDF down below in the video description. And also, just in case you don't know, I do have a playlist of each of the days, so maybe I'll have it up above, but you can also find a link down below in the video description. So I'm going to be coloring in day 14, which is in this corner over here. I'm going to change the view, so I'll be back in a second. Okay, so we have three little houses up here on the shelf. I'm going to go ahead and color in the shelf the same color that I used for the other shelf on day one. So I'm going to be using the Holbein Artist Colored Pencils. And the first color is brown, number 099, and burnt umber 180. So I'm going to start off with the brown. Go ahead and get started here. So my son is here right now too, so he may pop up in the background just to let you know. But yeah, he's pretty good about just um, if he needs to let me know something, he will call me, call my name. <laughs> so, well, you probably have heard him already in my previous videos. And yeah, so how is everyone doing? How is your weekend? Did you guys get a lot of shopping done? Most of my shopping was done already online and I just pretty much just still need to do these talking stuffers, but I'll probably do that sometime with during the week. But that's pretty much it. Everything else is done. I am now like just receiving all of the packages. So I'm going to color the top of the roof green. I'll be using the olive green number 189 and the fur green 288. So yes, I am just looking out for packages for my family. And some of them I would have to wrap for my kids, so, and some of them were for me, so my brother and sister would try to give me a heads up, so I have to ask my oldest daughter, I'm going to color the doorway here green too, to wrap it up for me. So yeah, so my desk right now is kind of cluttered with a whole bunch of Amazon and Target boxes. <laughs> it's probably going to be like this until uh, probably a couple days before Christmas. I'll probably clean it out again. I don't know what kind of roof this is. I thought at first it was like, it was like a Christmas tree, but I'm not sure. So. I just went ahead and colored it green and then I was going to color the uh, building like a dark gray. Probably add some gel pens to the roof also and I'm going to add some fur green down here. So I'm going to color it dark gray. Well, the darkest gray I have is cool gray number four. So I'm going to start off with this first and then if I want to darken it more, I'm going to come in with the lamp black. So I'm just going to color it all in. And I'm going to leave the trim of the window, the window panes, and the shutters um, white. I'm 
there. So I'm going to come in with the lamp black. Just going to go here between the buildings, underneath the roof. Right there, under the windows and shutters. Under these two, or three, <laughs> three little windows, I think. Yeah, so I'll add some glitter gel pens at the end. There we go. Um, I think I'm just gonna color that little portion there like it's the wall. So I'm gonna come in with sepia 182. Just do that there. I'm going to come in again with a cool gray four and just add a little bit shadows on the shutters and just going to leave it as is. So with the middle house. I'm going to color the roof maroon, kind of like what I did on day five. And then for the building, I'm going to color it a light gray. So I'm going to start off with burgundy 080. Yeah, these little houses kind of remind me of Amberley's uh, winter village. Uh, Amberly Silentia is a another colorist. Uh, so uh, I will link her a video of her winter village. She did a video showing the pages that she wants to color um, this season, and then at the end she shared uh, a little video clip of her winter village and it's beautiful i remember asking her like i think it was last year when i asked um if we, if we can see her winter village so i'm going to come in with the raisin for eight six so amberly if you're watching this thank you so much i know i said thank you on her uh on her video but yeah it it looks so magical i was like if I asked her if she kept it up all year because I would because it's just really really beautiful and magical so I'm gonna come in now with the Carmine 042 and I also showed it to my son Mason because he's never seen anything like that and yeah he was asking me if I could add it to a um, downstairs on our tables in front of our Christmas tree and I was like no that's Amberly's <laughs> we can just enjoy it through the video but yeah it is very beautiful I do recommend that you check out her winter village she had like a carousel different shops so many like people along the sidewalks along the streets it's very beautiful. So I'm going to come down here and color. Actually, I want to color that one. The red door. So I'm going to come in with the carmine that I used up here. And just I'm just going to color it in. And I think for the shutters, I'm going to make it dark. So I believe I said I was going to make the walls a light gray. So I'm coming in with the cool gray. And I'm just I'm just gonna go over those things there. I don't know what they are, so I'm just gonna go in. But yeah, that winter village, oh gosh, that is a beautiful collection to have. It must be a lot of fun to set up. 
I know I would have a lot of fun. <laughs> but. I would love to start something like that, but I don't have the room right now. <laughs> Too many kids. I just can't imagine them trying to play with it. So, yeah, I think it's better off just being seen <laughs> on video. So, the shutters, I said I wanted to make it dark. I'm just going to come in with the lamp black, number 511. Actually, I might maybe do the whole even the front here. I'm just going to go in dark and then lighten up. Go around the doorway. Then lighten up here. Yeah. I'm going to use a gel pen to add flowers. So I'm giving this house dark shutters. Shutters? That's what you call them, right? Right there. And just, I don't know what these things are. I'm just going to, I'll probably put gel pens over that also. <laughs> so this one, I want to do yellow Building, so I'm going to come in with the uh, yellow ochre and then I'm going to come in with the ivory 116. So yellow ochre is 153. So I'm going to go lightly over the building. I did look up um, on Google. <laughs> What did I write down? Townhomes with shutters. Shutters. So I just wanted to see, but um, I mean, this isn't the colors. I just wanted to see like the different kinds of shutter colors and the combinations and stuff. So I had an idea and then kind of like pick colors amongst the pencils that I am already using throughout this picture. It's going to be a bright yellow. I don't want it to stand out too much from you know, like the other two. So I'm going to give it a like gray. Is that too much? No, brown. I'm going to do brown roof. So these are my dark browns, so I'm going to be using Burnt Umber 180 and Sepia 182. I'm going to start off with the brown, oh no, Burnt Umber. Yeah, I do have a quish, um, Christmas question for today. It is, what is your, since I did what, what was my best gift? Um, I thought I would share what was my worst gift. And it was hard because, I mean, I can't remember <laughs> exactly. Po probably if I, you know, like when I did get one, I just like forgot about it. Didn't even think about it. But I did remember one. And I probably have it somewhere here in my house. It's probably in a box that I put to be sold in um, our garage sale when we do have one. We're still kind of like compiling all the stuff that we want to sell. Um, but it's one of those exercise um, equipment. It's those shaking thingies. It's like, it looks like a dumb, dumbbell. So it has weights on both ends, but you, sh you shake it <laughs> just to... I, I don't know if you know, I don't know what the name of that is, but I actually got that as a white elephant gift. So someone got that and we did that. Um, I think it's a, you roll the dice seven and 11. And then I think seven was to the left. You pass it to the left and 11 is you pass it to the right. And then if you have doubles, you can switch it with whoever 
whatever gift that someone else has. So yeah, and I ended up with that um, shaking dumbbell thing. It's more like a weight for me, <laughs> just a weight, just sitting in a corner. But no, I'm not sure what to make the shutters. What do they make? Maybe I'll do the. I'll do indigo blue. So I have four six zero for indigo. I'm not going to add any more color to it. Just indigo. Have it. I think it's a good contrast to the yellow there. Um, let me see. I'll come in with the lamp black just to darken it up a little bit. And then I'm going to come in with the horizon blue to color in the windows. So this is number 312 for horizon blue. I'm just going to come in and color in all the windows here. I wonder if I should just go over it with a pen so you can see the dark lines. So I'm going to do number 14. Here. Just going to Okay, so I am back. I don't remember what I was talking about before I left, but um, I think we were almost done. I'm just going to add the details. So I'm going to color in the number 14 with my Pilot Juice 0.38. So actually, I'm going to come in on these windows. too tiny. So right in the number 14. Like that. I actually forgot the smoke up here. So I'm going to come in with smoke blue 379 and just the bottom. And then the white. That. Actually forgot another part, which is this one here. I'm going to just darken this part like that and I think that's it. Okay, <laughs> I'm back again. Uh, someone was at the door so um, I'm going to put in some Posca for the smoke over here. So I'm going to use the PC1MR. This is the white Posca. And just gonna go let's go over it a little bit I think that's it for the white Posca for uh, all these things that are hanging down I'm gonna use um, my <laughs> Uniball signal point eight. I don't know if you can see it. And I'm just going to 
I'm gonna make like chains instead of going down making a line I'm gonna make chain going down and then I am gonna use the Sakura Stardust at the ends of the chain So how many Christmas colorings have you guys done? Actually got um, I'm working on my third buddy color Almost done with the third one. I finished two, but I post yeah, I posted two of them. I have another one that I just haven't posted up yet. And then uh, I have another one that I am still going to finish up. So I'm coming in with the Sakura Stardust Jelly Roll. I have 721, which is kind of like a dark pink. And then a green glitter gel pen, number 727. So I'm going to start off with the green. I'm going to go... underneath the windows I'm just going to just want to cover up the details that were there I'm gonna put some in this one here and then on these I'm gonna do every other one These are the same colors that I used on the opposite corner. So I'm coming in with the pink one and I'm just going to just little details there on this window and this big window. It's pretty. And then on these, I don't know what you call them, just chains. <laughs> Little decorations off the shelf. Right there. So I'm going to also come in with the number 744, the Sakura Stardust. It's kind of like a dark color these over here I don't know what these are so I'm just gonna fill it in and then there are some I'm just gonna go over here just gonna leave it like that and yeah so that is it that is day 14 of my advent calendar I'm gonna Zoom you guys out. Okay, so this is how the calendar is looking. We just finished day 14, which is up here in this corner. So we have a lot of this side finished. Day 15 is in the opposite corner, which is down here. So hopefully I'll have the colors picked out and ready to color in the Santa with his Christmas sweater and his sack of toys. But yeah, really liking how it's looking. Um, I wasn't sure about how the house was going to look, the, the houses, the colors that I picked to use all together, but yeah, I'm really liking it. So yes, thank you so much for joining me for day 14 of my coloring in Chihiro Shiomi's advent calendar. I do hope you guys enjoyed seeing day 14 come together. I will see you all at my next video. So please take care, keep safe and healthy, and have a great week, and happy colorings. Bye-bye.